Well, she is an IU alum, and her goal is to help women feel empowered as they navigate pregnancy, labor and delivery, and postpartum. I am so happy to chat with Lauren Crum of Guided Connections. Lauren, you know this is the perfect time for me to talk about stuff like this with with doula services, which I know is a big part of what you offer, but I'm going to let you explain sort of who you are and how you help the Indianapolis community. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. Uh, So I started Guided Connections about a year and a half ago and really wanted to just bring in um, multiple different aspects when looking at pregnancy, labor and delivery and postpartum, just so women can feel um, supported and empowered to have the deliveries that they want, because it's just not happening that way right now. And a lot of people aren't talking about the hard stuff that's going on. I told, I told you earlier and for everyone watching at home, Lauren and I were talking and obviously this is my third little one. And I had some difficulties with the first two when it came to labor and delivery. But do you think a big part of it, because with my first one, I I don't think I was as educated. I'm so much more knowledgeable about things now because I've been through that. But is, is that part of it? Is it a lack of education, a lack of knowledge or even experience with a lot of women? Yes, 100%. uh, Because there just isn't, no one talks about what a doula is. So a doula is someone who comes in and works with your provider, with your nursing staff. Um, And our goal is to really just help you navigate labor and delivery, childbirth. We're walking through different positions, different techniques to make things easier. Um, And also providing emotional support and mental support. And our goal is to empower you to have the birth that you want and to ideally make things easier so that we can avoid things like cesareans or different interventions that may not be um, a part of your birth plan. And the goal is to really just work together to make this as sacred as possible instead of just a routine medical Mm -hmm. procedure where women are just going along and making decisions because they're told this is what's necessary. Because at the end of the day, it you it's your birth. And the medical professionals do a fabulous job, but sometimes there are other things that we can do prior to jumping to things like cesarean or starting Pitocin, uh, just more natural methods that work. So a big thing that I've been doing with my clients has been working with them on different exercises prior to a month before we're going into deliver okay. to help get that pelvis in a good spot to make sure your ligaments aren't super yeah. tight, those muscles are relaxed. So doing that prep before is so key as well to having a smooth yeah. delivery. And, you know, we plan for our wedding, we plan for parties, we plan for all these things, but we right. just don't spend the time planning for we birth. Don't. And that is one of the most sacred and intense things that we go, we go through physically. Yeah. And I just think that, you know, there needs to be more of a discussion around what we can do to prepare and then how too. we can support our mamas postpartum as well, mm-hmm. because there's, it's the biggest hormone drop you'll ever experience in life. And how can we support that through diet and, you know, emotional support because things like postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety Mm -hmm. are on the rise. And I just think that we can do a better job for our mamas. And they are a real thing. And I think sometimes the mamas are forgotten about too, once the babies are here Mm -hmm. and all the attention, of course, you know, goes to the babies, but the moms can be in a place sometimes where they really do need that support, especially if they've gone through you know, a difficult delivery. But I also want to preface that with, for people at home watching, um, yes, C-sections are a lot of times absolutely necessary um, to save, you know, your life, to save the life of a baby. And I'm grateful for medical technology. I'm a living testament. I've had to have two, and I'm grateful for that. But I do think it's important as women, whether it's your first, second, or even third, just to at least consider the options, see maybe what else is out there, broaden your horizons a little bit to have yeah. the best experience for yourself, perhaps. I just wish more women knew because hearing, you know, you, you sharing your story and the mm-hmm. stories that I've heard from other women, it's it's heartbreaking. And, you know, we can't go back and change what's happened, but we can change moving forward the yeah. support that we can provide. And I think that, you know, being able to come on here and talk about this is huge because people just don't know. Well, and they don't talk about it. And I think that's why it's important to me too, is because not every woman's body is the same. Not every pregnancy is the same. And at the end of the day, you know, you got to do what's best for you and that baby and the the doctors as well. But 
I think just finding out what else is out there and being able to educate yourself about how certain things could work better for you is certainly a good thing. So thank you so much for being so open and so real and honest. That's what so many women need for sure and what they're looking for. So thank you for caring so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren.